I don't see my tablet or coffee, right? We're using a 14 inch reframe. If you have the heart shape or if you have the square shape or even if you have the 14 inch, the smaller, most definitely you could do this, okay? If you're using a heart, all right, because I, you know, hearts are in all year long. You're going to take your first bunch and just put it at the very bottom of the heart, okay? So what I'm saying, it's not going to be a pointy heart, but it can be a very beautiful heart. You will place it right here on the second or the third bar of your heart, just one poof, and then you start going up. It, normally when I do it, I always place it on the second bar going all the way around. Um, what I will say is second bar, do your point here, go all the way around. When you get to the heart shape right here, go ahead and put it onto the first bar. And then when you lap it over on the second bar over here into the corner, you're going to have the heart going down. Okay. So those of you that are trying to do a heart, and maybe we'll do a heart. Maybe we'll do a heart next week. We can do heart shapes. I'll do a round heart. We'll do a heart with a round uh, sign in the center. All right, that'll be fun. We can do a different shapes. Yeah, and we can do the square shape too. Absolutely. All right, so what you wanna do is I cut these a little bit longer but if you want to have just two rolls of mesh, just two rolls, I would not cut this as long. Cut it in 24 inches, not in 30. Okay, 24 will give you one roll. Okay, when you cut your pink, because you're overlapping it, you're going to cut it two inches shorter. All right, it's not going to be longer, it's going to be shorter. All right, reason being is because you want to see the beige on the top, okay? It's not going down the center, it's going here, where you're gonna see it. So it's a little bit different than using the burlap. So cut it in 24 and 20, and you can get two rolls of 10 inch mesh. All right, so you're gonna take this. Now you could, 24 would be the biggest, otherwise you're gonna have to use one extra piece and you'll need uh, two rolls instead of one. All right, just to get that extra piece. All righty. There we go. And then you're gonna pull this up. So we have the beige showing with your pink. And you could cut them all the same length if that's what you want. I like to cut mine different lengths to see the colors more. So that's just me. But you can cut them all the same length as well. Here we go. You're gonna take it. So you can do it in your 24 and 22. All right, and you're gonna pull this up. So you're gonna cut this. We want to see that paint, the beige underneath. So you're gonna kinda pull this up. So you have your two colors. Now this is the laser eyelash with the metallic going down the center and it came from BB Crafts and it's a 10 inch, the pink is. See how pretty that is? So it goes up in a double flower, okay? 14 pieces is all you need. So you're using two rolls of mesh because you're doubling them up. 14 pieces, that's it. You're gonna take it. Now, I cut mine a little bit shorter. You can cut them the same length if, if you can see through it. If not, if it's too dark, I would cut them a little bit shorter. That way you can see both colors. That's just me. I do mine different. <laughs> All right, so a little bit shorter. You don't have to cut it longer. You use two rolls of mesh. So take it, and basically we're walking it down. You're walking your fingers down the runway. Walk, walk, walk. Okay, got it. Take it. All right, so this, I'm gonna just squish it over there. All right, I'm gonna take it to our next section. All right, so right now, all I'm doing is one per section, but you actually need eight. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. I'm just doing one right now. If you do them 
and that's because I want it to be completely round, all right? So you take the, the two extra pieces and we're going to place them. I'll show you how to do that. Let's just do one so I don't confuse you. See how pretty? Double flower. That's our double flower. Beautiful, right? Absolutely stunning. Love this mesh. This is your laser eyelash from BB Crafts. It's got the two different color pinks in it. Let me move my coffee. Now, I don't like cutting 21 inch mesh. <laughs> we all know. How long do I have to make a heart? Okay, so for a heart, why don't, uh, for a heart, I would probably cut it no longer than 18 inches for the point is going to be a little bit shorter and then the rest of it you can cut at 20 just because you want to add the point. We'll do a heart our next one. How about we do a heart and that way you can see me do it. So I'll try to come on on Monday and we'll go ahead and we'll do a heart shape if you could wait that long and we can do it on Monday together. That way you can see how to do the point. You want to do that? Can you wait till Monday to make it? If you wait till Monday, Cindy, we'll do it together. Okay? Yeah. What did she say? I've noticed that Carmen doesn't use her. Okay, so I do use a zip tie gun. We can use that with this. Um, I got it. We can still use it. I have it. Let me find it. The reason why I don't use it anymore is... One, let me find it. Um, is because the strength in my hand for some reason isn't the strength I had before. I hurt my hand, so let me find my. Alrighty. This gap, I have to find it. I misplaced it. I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll have the zip tie gun on this. <laughs> on YouTube, on YouTube, we'll use the zip tie gun tomorrow night, okay? I still use it. I just don't know where I put it. When I clean my room, I misplaced it somewhere. I put a bunch of stuff in those drawers over there, and I bet you it's over there. Um, so I still use it, but I don't know where I put it. I probably misplaced it on me. So I have a bunch of stuff that I still have to go through on here. All right, so with the zip tie gun... What I'm going to tell you, when you use your double layers like this, if it's this thin, delicate mesh, what will happen is the zip tie gun can actually get caught up in this and snag it. All right? So, with this particular one, I would not... Let me find it, Miss Beth. You're probably not the only one thinking that. Why isn't Carmen using her zip tie gun anymore? Well, one... I misplaced it. <laughs> Hold on, love. Let me see if I can find it. If not, I'll try to have it out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I lost my zip tie gun on myself. I have no idea where I put it. He's in here. Just leave him in here. I'm just on, I'm on regular channel. Yeah, I don't know where I put it, but tomorrow night I'll have it for YouTube. I still use it. I just haven't used it since I moved my room. Does that make sense? I misplaced my zip tie gun. Where are you? Yeah, where is my zip tie gun? All right, Beth, I'm gonna have to find that tomorrow. I'm sorry. No, I still use it, but I wouldn't use it with this delicate mesh. I'm just gonna tell you that. The zip tie gun can actually snag this when you're using such a delicate mesh on there. And I have no idea, since I moved my room around, where that is even at. Wow, I lost the zip tie gun. Hmm. Uh, now you're going to have me looking for it tomorrow. It's fine, I'll use it tomorrow. <laughs> Beth, I'll use it. I'll use it tomorrow on YouTube. Okay, so with the zip tie gun, I would not use that on a double mesh, right? 
not with this delicate mesh on top because I'm going to tell you this is more delicate than the regular laser eyelash. Just telling you, anytime there's metallic in this like that, I wouldn't use it. But I will use it tomorrow when I find it. <laughs> Beth, you're going to have me looking for it because I, you're probably not the only one that hasn't realized I haven't used it. Huh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll look for it tomorrow. Walk your fingers down. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Right now we're just doing one per section and then we're going to add two. Okay, because it takes an eight to do complete rounds. See how you got this? But it's not as round as I would like. So I always do eight on bar one and six on bar three. All right. And this is similar to the pancake. Yes, it is. It is similar to it. But this is very, very pretty. There we go. Yeah, where did I put that thing? Oh, no. What did I do to myself? <laughs> I'm going to go crazy, Miss Beth. I notice I haven't seen it, so it's got to be in my drawers. So I have drawers everywhere in here, so it's more organized. But see the drawers up there? There's drawers there. Then I have stuff at the bottom, stuff over there. I have a bunch of stuff in boxes still. And I have drawers on the other side of me on top of the press and drawers in my desk. So I had to go in there and look. I have a bunch of scissors that aren't out here. It's got to be with the scissors. Yeah, I'll find it for tomorrow night. So we'll use it. So when you're using... This type of mesh, I actually would not be using the cable tie gun on this. No, 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 no. Not with this mesh. It's beautiful mesh, but it is a little bit uh, metallic, so it doesn't fray like if you cut your a 21 inch up, all right? It's beautiful. However, if you get that little thing stuck in it, it will... What'd she say? BB Crafts? Yes, it's out of it. Uh, craft Outlet is supposed to start. So the, the thing is with this, the laser eyelash, I don't know if you guys know this, but it actually comes from, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, now I'm going to forget. It's not China. It's Vietnam. So the Vietnamese actually make the eyelash. So you got a, Paper Mart has a, they got like a lot of colors coming in and they're trying to get their hands on the, the 10 inch. They said that um, COVID had stopped everything from being shipped over here, but they're actually trying to uh, carry, Paper Mart is trying to get in laser eyelash craft outlet. I put in a thing and they said that they would look into it. They also said with enough people asking for it, they would consider it more. Does that make sense? Not a lot of people are actually asking for the laser eyelash. So if you put in a request and enough people ask for it, means profit to them. If enough people ask for laser eyelash, then Craft Outlet would consider having it. That's what they told me. She said... If enough people ask us for it, then we would most likely get it. It's exactly what she said. So write them and ask. Put in a request. Will you start, you know, I would rather I get everything else from you. Laser eyelash is one of the meshes that I love to use. If you get it, and also put in their 10 inch. Otherwise, a lot of people will get the 21 inch and we want the 10 inch. 21 inch, yes, but we want the 10 inch for cutting, all right? Um, so far as BB Crafts, they said they were supposed to get in another shipment soon, is what they told me. Okay, so take it, walk your fingers down, walk, 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 and walk. There you go. All right, so you're going to see here, I have six. 
Now we're gonna add just two more. Now, because I cut them a little bit bigger, if you cut them bigger, it's actually perfect just like that. And you probably can do 18 if you cut them bigger, but I like mine to be just a tad bit rounder, okay? So that being said, let's squish this over. Squish over, just squish. So you're gonna squish three and three, and then you're just gonna add one and one. It's gonna make it really round. See how you can squish them? So you squish them in half, that's six. We're gonna add one here and one here. That'll make eight. still looking for a couple things you know when you pack and then so Chris is really proud of me it took me what a week to do I did this room by myself and I hurt myself doing it I moved the shelving I moved each roll of mesh into the other room I did everything by myself it took exactly seven days to do it now I gotta go in there, I gotta color coordinate the mesh, and I gotta color coordinate my ribbon because when you're handling rolls of ribbon and your uh, mesh and you're pulling them into the other room five at a time and you have a bad back, you're like, oh my gosh, is this ever gonna end? Is this ever gonna end? <laughs> That's how I was. I was like, oh my goodness, how much do I have? Holy cow! I mean, I gotta color coordinate it. I didn't color coordinate it yet. So that's my next big thing, is I gotta go in the room. Oh my goodness. Janet and them saw my room. It's, I couldn't believe how much laser eyelash I got over eight years to begin with. There's a lot of mesh. I have a lot of 21 inch mesh. A lot of 21 inch let me tell you a lot but it's um definitely a lot of work you know I thank goodness I have that extra room to use as my supply room now so I can go in there and I just pick out oh I'm gonna use this and I have this color and I have that oh this is perfect and then I go look at my ribbon I have tubs I have two uh, shoe racks of ribbon, then I have ribbon that's stacked next to it, the 50 yards, and then I have bins, five bins, and I have fall, Christmas, every day. I have everything labeled and put in there, but now I have to color coordinate everything, and I have to find mine. I have to find that. The cable tie gun, I have to find it. I have no idea, no earthly idea where I put it. So, uh, Monday, we'll try to be on on Monday instead of Tuesday, ladies, and we'll do a heart. We'll do a heart, and I think we'll do, like, a like a vintage fall heart, because I could use my round suns on that. That'll be fun! Yeah, we'll do a vintage fall heart. So, we'll do a vintage fall heart, and we'll do the method we're using now on Monday, okay? Yeah, I was like, holy cow! But remember that I have been crafting for years, so it's eight years of stuff. Eight years of stuff, and then I had all this stuff in front of it. So when you go and open up, when I took the sheets off, first of all, I had sheets over everything, and then I had drawers in front of it and tables in front of it. So guess what? Carmen couldn't even get to it because it was all covered up. I threw out all the garbage, I sorted through it, and I was like, Okay, this mesh came from Walmart, this came from here, this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I was like, Chris is like, um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, didn't know how much I had. You don't know how much you have until you move or spring cleaning. So, and that's where I was. See how pretty this is? Okay, so this is eight pieces, eight double flower pieces. Look how beautiful. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to add six more onto bar three. Yes. Bar three by three. Bar three. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. 
very pretty. I think that I have one row left of this. And I'm going to be sad because, like uh, Miss Beth said, BB Crafts is out of a lot of colors, especially every time I show something on YouTube, everybody buys it. Craziness. Okay, so thumbs, fingers, do your catwalk. Catwalk, 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 catwalk. And there we go. Take your zip tie. Bar three, not four, three. So one and three. It's a two bar re. That's it. Now, this is what's going to hold down the outer layer. And it's also going to be a big enough because we're using an 8 by 10 And it's going to cover the inside. All right. So it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. And it's double layered. But like I said, the pink is very thin. And it's very delicate. Very beautiful. See how pretty? Like lace. Very, very gorgeous. It's going to be very pretty. Very different. Definitely take your heat it tool. I think that's where it is. Darn it, where is that thing? I have no idea where I put my cable tie bed. That makes no sense. Hmm. Like I said, I got a lot of I'm still sorting. I am still sorting. I'm still going through things. So, going through a lot of things in this craft room. There we go. Still going through stuff. Still organizing. Catwalk, 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 and catwalk. There we go. One per section on bar three. That's it. Just one. That's all you need. Just one. One pretty. Um, using two different colors and using a light color where it's not covering up the mesh underneath is absolutely stunning. But like I said, if you're going to use this particular mesh, I wouldn't use the cable tie gun on this because this can actually fray real easy. Any type of metallic can fray. Look how pretty. See how beautiful? Absolutely stunning. There we go. This doesn't take a long time to put together, which is great. So if you want to make a wreath, uh, like on Monday, I had an order. I did the double poof on bar one wreath or double bubble. And I made a wreath in 45 minutes. And this lady was like, are you kidding me? She got a hold of me and ordered. She's like, Oh my gosh, it says it's sold out. I said, you know, you're in luck because I have one more roll of that mesh and that's all I got. I have a sign and I have just enough of the polka dot ribbon to actually make that for you. Let me get to work and I'll call you when I'm done. I was done in 45 minutes, bow and all. Done with the whole reef. She was like, oh my goodness. I was done, took a picture. She was like, holy cow. I said, oh, I can make eight reefs in one day, depending on what type we, I do. I said, but I've been doing this for a year, so that's nothing to me. But if I don't feel good, that's different. Then it's like, oh, I don't feel good. Let me take a break. Oh, I don't feel good. Let me take a break. You know, it's like every 15 minutes you're taking a break. You're like, oh. Back hurts. Let me take a break. Let me sit down. Let me take a break. A break. A break. Then it makes it longer. But usually I can do 45 minutes. With a double poof, that's easy. And even with cutting up ribbon in a bow. Yep, because it was Mickey Mouse ribbon wreath. It was. With a bow. Sure was. But she was so nice. She was nice. And then she was only... She, her husband was a former vet, so... It was an honor. <laughs> I have to say, Dr. Allen, the second and I would love to see your craft room when you fill up to having a visit. You're so cute. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. Um, well, the craft rooms, still, I have a lot that I'm doing with it, so... I do need to actually do like a little show. I have a lot of, of 
a lot of stuff, a lot of organizing, a lot of organizing here, but I got a lot done, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, I will say that underneath your, um, underneath the table, I do have bins, so I have my fall and Christmas, one, two, three bins on the side of me, and then on the other side is all my, um, it's like the fruits and stuff like that on the other side. And then in the supply room, I have one, two, I think I have two, two, three, three bins in there with other stuff. And I also have shelving in the hallway where I sort and put all my signs on. So in here, there's, I actually have a heat press in here. I have my, my computer where I design. On the side is um, the printer, which is your printer for, that's your printer for, for sublimation. It's a sublimation printer, so it's a special printer. And then there's a, a table that it's on because you cannot put that on. It has to be sturdy. And then I have like uh, my envelopes, my uh, photo stuff on there, my stickers to go on the back, uh, alcohol swabs to clean your uh, signs. And then at the end of the table is my Cricut and my heat press. The heat press gets to over 400 degrees. So that's on a sturdy table with more drawers in it. But I really, this used to be a junky room. Like I'm very, very happy that it's organized. Hello, Miss Lynn. Hi, sweetheart. Okay, so let's take our fingers and again, grab and walk your fingers down. Catwalk. Don't rush it. Walk it down because it is, this is thick. Okay, it's nice and thick. Look how beautiful. All right, so you're doing one per section. On three all right we did eight on eight on one and then six on three that does the whole entire reef so we have one more look how full this is and honestly if you cut it as long as I did mine today you don't have to put the extra two on bar on bar one you don't look at how beautiful we got one more one more. That's it. Just one more. One more. One more. One more. And this is going to be so beautiful. So beautiful. I cannot. So the one I am going to wait to do. Do you, Did you guys even see the manger? The sapphire manger? Oh, I cannot wait until we start that because we are going to be making the sapphire ranger manger on YouTube and I think I'm going to do that the first week in July. Just set the season off with that beautiful sapphire manger that I made, the sign. And I have the one with um, the Christmas balls or I have the ones with the praying hands. So all you guys do remember, I made that a couple months ago. That is going to be, I cannot wait because that's going to be sapphire and silver. So I am excited. I'm, I'm really excited about that one. That one's going to be just breathtaking. Okay, Carmen. <laughs> Let's see. It's so full. Here we go. Right here. Move it up. See how full that is? And this is our last one. We have 14 bundles. That's it. 14 bundles. 14 flower bundles, double flowers, right here on our leaf. Look how precious this is. This is gorgeous. So, so happy with this. Let's pull this up. Yeah, I'll have to open this up. Let me clear some of the reefs up, and I'll have to do a walkthrough of my craft room because it's so much easier now that I organized it. Look how pretty. Isn't that breathtaking? Okay, so this is our vintage cottage. Our rose vintage cottage. I'm so excited. Um, 
I want to do something. So I'm trying, everyone. I do not believe in Halloween. You all know that. So we're trying. I don't celebrate it, and I refuse to put my hands on it. It's just a, something that God said, I can take away your gifts just as I've given them to you. And if you touch your hands on wicked, I will take it away. And that was how long ago? Three and a half years ago? Four years ago now? I told everyone on YouTube, I can't do it. God said he will take it away just as, as he has gifted it to me. So I can't. I refuse to do Halloween. So I'm trying to do things that are pleasing to God and, and beautiful to us. And we love vintage. So for fall, I have a lot of beautiful pumpkin fall, beautiful pieces. Nothing witchy, nothing out of the ordinary that will take away from our Lord, something that's pleasing to him, but and beautiful to us. So I, I just, I can't. We'll make pumpkins and we'll celebrate our fall, but we will not do any Halloween. And that's me. I can't, I won't. And that's just something I, I decided with God. You know, we all have our road that we follow and God leads us, each of us, in our own way, but you'll notice that if God tells you something and you're obedient, you know, the devil will try to tear you down, but overall, in the end, you will come so far in so many places that you never thought you would get to because God will open that door. He will slowly open the door, and then when you look back, you'll say, wow, well, thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Um, so we just have to be obedient. Remember that the devil will always try to deceive you in different ways. I will tell you that. I had one lady say, if you make me a Halloween, and she, I, Carmen, I love your style. If you do this for me, I will pay you very well. No, I'm sorry. Not even just a pumpkin with a witch hat on it? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't, but Carmen, I will give you, and let me tell you how much she was going to give me, $250 for one piece. Just make me one. I'm sorry, I can't. And I told her, I said, if you even respect me and you're my friend, you wouldn't have asked me that to begin with because you know that in my heart, God told me I couldn't. And you know that that would hurt me in every way. And um, I was upset. I was so upset. And I asked God to take my heart away because I know people are human, but I was like, God, um, you know, I, I please, you know, take my heart away towards this person. I, she knows not what she's asking me. Maybe she doesn't understand, but I can't. The whole reason why is her husband's birthday was on that day. And I said, I'm sorry. I don't care whose birthday it is. And, I, you know, you want me to make him a birthday wreath with just a pumpkin on it? I'm cool with that. I'll do a fall wreath, but I will not do anything that celebrates Halloween. And I feel bad, but that is how I feel. So, and in the end, God will see, God sees all. Remember that. God sees all things we do. He knows all things. We cannot hide our heart. We cannot hide the things that we do. He knows all things. So, that being said, if I would have done that, God would have saw it. And if I would have done that, I have a fear that God would take away what he gave me. And that's just me. That's me and my belief. Don't judge anyone else, but that is me and my belief. That's a promise I made to him, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm actually opening up the ruffles. And you're going to see, because this is very thick, I tie it up with 8 by 10 You're going to tie it onto bar 3. So open up your ruffles. Just tie it underneath and then pull those ruffles over, okay? There we go. Nice and beautiful. And I will... Push that ruffle over. Okay. Oh yeah. And then I'll tighten the other side. Don't you worry. We will tighten that. There we go. 
I'm going to tighten this down. I also want to kind of move it. This is real easy because you just tighten underneath. That's it. There we go. All right. I will say go ahead with any type of that mesh. I would use the heated tool. Okay. Heated tool. Heated tool. Definitely use your heated tool to melt down some of that. So you got little pieces, not so much fray, but like little cut ends. So definitely going to use the heated tool. There we go. After we put in my floral, our beautiful floral. Look at this. Let me get this underneath here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And like I said, God knows all things. And, you know, maybe it would have been different if I wouldn't have heard his voice, but I don't, if he tells me something, I'm going to listen. That's my soul, and that's my salvation, and that's my promise to him. I'm not breaking a promise I made to God. Mm -mm. I fear him, but I'm different. I fear God's wrath. So, for God-fearing people, and we, re we truly have a relationship with him, we fear God's wrath. I fear him. I don't just love him and worship him. I fear him. And we should. A true salvation with our Father. We fear. We're also we're fearing God people. We're loving God people. But we also fear because we know that God has the power to give us life. But he also has the power to take it away. Think about that. He has the power to heal. He has the power to give us life. He has the power to take away of life. So, I, to me, I wouldn't take that chance. <laughs> Just me. That's me. Okay, so here we go. But remember, we all have our own walks with God, and we will all learn in our own time. God will show us. He will walk with us. He will lead us. And when you truly have a relationship with Him, we understand. We not only fear God, but we also feel God. So when you feel God, you feel the beauty in God. God's handwriting in the sky. How beautiful is that? That every time you look at the sky, it's a different picture. It's a different color, a different tone. The flowers, every flower that there's in the ground, every single flower, God made every fragrance. So we also see the beauty that God puts there. The life that you see, that the insect, the animals, everything, we know that God made. But we know that God can heal, and God can create, and God can take it away. So, what is that? What does God say? It's better to not know Him than to know Him when it comes to sin. You know why? Because once you know him, you know what God is capable of, and we know who God is. So knowing that, we know that God is our creator, and God can take away just as he can give it. All right? When you don't know him, you don't realize that. When you become saved, when you're a baby, when you first become saved, we see things in such a beautiful light. Not only do we no God, but God puts this beautiful, his spirit upon us, and we walk one with him. And when you're a baby Christian, oh my goodness, just think about when you were a baby Christian, that whole week, or the 10 days, some people have it five days, some people have it seven, some people have it 10, that walk, like you feel the spirit of God and it's constantly with you. And it's so beautiful that you cry, you laugh, you feel all these beautiful, amazing things inside of you, the Spirit of God. And then it starts to slowly go because we have to learn how to count on God. We have to learn how to ask Him. We're baby Christians. We're learning. We get into our Bible and we read and we absorb. When we worship, we feel the Spirit of God. When we put our hands up and we praise him, we feel him. Some people go down to the ground in laughter and crying. There's so many beautiful things that the Spirit of God comes upon you. God. 
you know, God heals. God can heal you all together or slowly at once. That is most beautiful too. You all know about my healing. Okay, so I'm going to put a touch of, this is really, really beautiful. We're putting some really, really pretty foliage there. Okay, so a lot of you go to church and, you know, through COVID, we experienced different. A lot of people watched it on their you know, TV, because we have live stream or listen to it through podcast has some great worship on there as well. Um, and we had to learn going through COVID. I think what's a good thing for some of us when COVID was happening to trust God. A lot of us got stronger with COVID because we had to learn, oh no, we don't have, you know, we don't have anyone to run to. What did we have inside of our fear and everything? We had to go to him. Direct, God, what is going on right now? All these people are dying. This is going on. I'm scared. We had, most of all, during COVID, a lot of us grew, our faith grew even more. I know. I, I guess because I was paralyzed and healed, I'm taking some pony rose heads. Because I was healed from God and I was completely paralyzed and said, they told me I would never walk again. That my faith is a little bit different because I experienced healing, like true healing, where doctors can't explain it. Where doctors look at my stuff and say, you shouldn't be walking. This part of your spine was completely damaged. You shouldn't be walking. Why are you walking? How can you even feel? What do you mean? They still look at it and they still say, we don't understand this. You shouldn't be walking. Um, but you all know my walk. Six months, I had to truly say, God, take it. Take my pain. Take my hurt. Take my anger. Take my fear. Take it all. Just take it. I give it all to you. I give it all to you, Father. I give it all to you. Take all of it. Just as Jesus did on the cross. Remember, we talk about this a lot too. Christ on the cross. Think about it. Three days for him to die. Three days. Why is that? Because our Jesus had to give his spirit, his everything to our Father. And it is when he said, I give you my spirit, he gave God all of it, that God opened the heavens and it shook and that Christ went to heaven. You know, it's an amazing thing what, you know, Christ went through. But you have to read it and you have to be in a frame of mind where you can say, God, I'm reading the Bible Give me knowledge and walk me through this. I want to know. I want to feel. And the Spirit of God will allow you to understand that Bible. And when you do, the most beautiful part of all of it is when you do and you actually walk that walk with Christ. When Christ died and you feel every emotion. You are crying. You are beating your hands on your pillow. You are sobbing. You are crying. You are feeling everything that Christ felt because you're walking that walk with him. You truly understand. And that's, I think, when I understood the fear of God. The fear of God. It is quite astonishing. I'm like, well, God can give us life. God surely can take it away. Oh, yes, he can. Whether it's by disease or whatever it is. Remember, God can heal all of us. He can. We all go through things, and we all have to hold on to God. We do. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because in the end, you want to have your forever love. You want to be in heaven with no pain, no suffering. You want to be there. No hunger, no fear, no hurt. It's a beautiful thing. 
I want to live, but when God is ready to take me home, I'm ready. I want to live. You're supposed to want to live. Living is the gift, the gift of life. We have life in every second, every breath you breathe in. It is the true gift of life, which is unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Miss Beth knows she had COVID really bad, and it took her everything inside of her to fight, and God was with her, and she's still healing, and she almost didn't make it, and she felt at her lowest. She knows. She knows. Okay, so I have this beautiful, I think this is a cockatiel. I don't know what kind of birdie this is. It's not a white dove. It's got the little spikies on his head. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm going to put a little glue on this and stick it at the top. Now, I do want to put a bow. We're going to use silk ribbon tonight. Silk ribbon. Oh, no. They didn't charge up all the way. Oh, no, no. Oh, well. I guess I'll dip my cup of seal in hot glue. Be careful. Be careful. Carbon is white. It's white. It's white. Be careful. There we go. I think it's a cockatiel. I'm not sure. It's all white, though. It's a beautiful birdie. I'm going to put it at the top. Really, really, really gorgeous. Let's put, I think we're going to put our bow. Let's see, where are we going to put a vintage bow? A beautiful vintage, breathtaking bow. Where do we want that? Let's see. Hmm. I still have a couple more things. So we're going to wait for our bow just a few minutes. Because... Yes. Oh, Bumpy. Let me go get Daddy for you. Hold on, little man. Hold on. You came in here again, and you should be. Hold on, buddy. I have some pearls, too. Hold on, baby. Go, 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 go. Go, sweetheart. Go. Alright, so the I wanted to share with all of you what Jim, what Scarlett's been doing. Everybody knows that Scarlett's been paralyzed. So she stood up and we are just thrilled. It was only for like two seconds on all four legs. Okay, so uh, this is our pearls. These are fuchsia. And then I have some baby pink. Oh, yeah, we're not doing vintage. We're going to go all the way, aren't we? We sure are. Here we go. Oh, this is breathtaking. Here we go. Nice and pretty. Breathtaking. Here we go. All right, so we're going to stick some pearls in here. I'm going to move these over to the side first. Let's get some more roses in here first. So I'm trying to get some different, because if you look in the sign, you have like some light pink roses going through it, and then you have a tree, like a blossom tree. So it's really, really pretty. To me, it can be like a cherry blossom or something like that. It's super gorgeous. Um, it's probably most likely a cherry blossom because it's pink. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like. All right, so we're going to take this. I'm going to add this over here. Let's take some more foliage. I love, you know, we like to, we're the best artist. Remember, we are our own artist. If you ever feel like you have to be inspired, God can inspire you in your dreams. He inspires me. I look up at the sky and I'm inspired. I'm like, oh, Father, how beautiful. Oh, the most beautiful artist in the world is our Father God. He paints the sky. He lights up the sea, the waters. It's just beautiful to me. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Some pinks in there. Let's put 
darker pink and a light pink pony here. I am going to take right here at the bottom, we're going to put the bow in the side here. Let's take at the very bottom of this one. Let's take another one. Two. I'm going to put this at the very bottom. Look how beautiful. This is so exciting. all create and God is our my biggest inspiration. Here we go. Let's take and we're gonna stick in some more foliage. There we go. Now I do want to put a bow but you gotta be very careful because we can't do too much of a bow um, because I can hurt this, but I do want to put a bow. Put this here. Ah, I want to put a bow, but I don't know. All right, so I have ribbon. We'll do a, I say a small bow. Okay, Carmen says a small bow, but we all know it's never small. But we got to try to do a small one because we're going to actually hurt this. Let's put in some beautiful... So you're going to fold this down when you go into your pearls, right? Take it. Push that in. Here's some fuchsia. You can actually get pearls. I get mine on Amazon, but wedding shops, um, even sometimes at Walmart, if you have a super Walmart, sometimes they have pearls. They're just more expensive. Um, different craft stores actually now carry them. I was shocked. I was like, wow, they're actually starting to carry stuff. But if you go into the wedding section, a lot of times you'll find some of the pearls. Maybe not like the ones I use, but you'll find something that's similar. There you go. And if you use Hobby Lobby, they have like coupons you can use there. You put this in, I'm twisting them together. Let's see, get that in there. I'm gonna open this up. Nice and beautiful. There we go. Let's take some white pink over here. So you don't need it too much, but enough to give it that vintage look, okay? I think I'm going to put another leaf over there, though. Kind of get that a little bit. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yep. <laughs> all right. Be your own artist. Remember, we all have an artist inside ourselves. Don't ever be critical of yourself. Remember that you may not like. Someone may think it is a breath of art. We all have an artist in us. Don't be too hard on yourself, right? Everybody can create. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's nice and pretty. All right, we're gonna put these to the side. without covering the whole thing. You don't want the real big butterflies. Not with this. This is a delicate piece. This is not where you put the bigger butterflies. You're going to cover up your flowers. So you want it to be kind of delicate. All right. It's vintage. It's delicate. It's absolutely breathtaking. So just enough to give it that prettiness. All right. Let's see. What am I missing? All right, let's, let's vision this. This is, we got a birdie, we got butterflies. Oh, I 
I'm going to take some out. Here we are. Couple dragonflies. Let's give it a nice summer look. Summer or spring. Because this is probably going to be our last piece because we've got a lot of fall. And boy, I'm looking forward to doing our manger leaves. I'm really looking forward to that, especially sapphire. I love doing sapphire blue with like a little bit of light blue just to hit it off with that silver and make it pop. So I'm excited. Let's take two. All right. So I'm going to dip it just a little bit. Just kind of put it right there. Let's take this one. Dip it into our glue. Put it right here. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So Honestly, you don't need a bow with this, but if you are, you're going to make a small bow on the side, okay? Small here. Not big, and that's my problem. <laughs> I never do small, so let's see if we can do a small bow without, without taking away from this. A small bow, all right? A small bow because we honestly can hurt this. So I want something small right here on the side without taking away from this beauty, this breath taking beauty, All right? This is vintage, absolutely breathtaking. So right here, we're gonna put a small bow. Now let's look at the colors we have here. So what I have here is we're using silk ribbons, um, cause silk is like wedding ribbons, so they're very beautiful. I have the rose which we'll probably put a little bit on top. I have green, because there's green in the sign. This is your moss green. We have ivory, there's ivory in the sign. And we have pink, so we have four ribbons. So we don't need anything real big, but enough just to give it just a tad. I don't want to do too much, because honestly, we can actually ruin this. This is should be very, just, it should be, you know, breathtaking. <laughs> All right, so I kind of want it's pink, so pink should be the last one. Let's do this. We're gonna do ivory green, pink, and then our rose. So we always do legs first. Let's do our legs. So you're gonna take your ribbon and you're gonna take it to the side like I always do, because you wanna see where the legs are gonna draw. So I want the legs right here. So that being, it's going to be at so 30 inches, 15 inches. Remember, this is silk. Silk, you do kind of work a little different. Let me grab my stuff. Oh, I got a mess every time. I'm like, hey, I just cleaned up. Yeah, then you just made a mess. <laughs> Welcome to the world of crafting, right? There we go. There's our ivory. This ribbon came from Regina Sellers when she was going on a business. She is supposed to be selling more ribbon again. Um, what I will say is that I found out that this silk ribbon actually comes from Sam's Club. They do sell the silk ribbon in 50 yards at the Sam's Club. So if you like the ribbon and you have a Sam's Club member, you can go on there and you can you know go into the store. Ribbon should be coming out. Honestly, at Sam's Club, they have actually really decent, decent um, selection of silk ribbons. And a lot of people use them in their wedding shops, so they're actually well known for it. But that's where these actually came from, because I was like, where did she get these? And then I was lo looking, I don't have a Sam's Club here. I'm trying to remember, I think it was my husband. And he was out of town and he went by a Sam's Club and he said, look at this, 50 yards of silk. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, show it to me again. I was like, and I looked at the back and it was the same. So I know it comes from Sam's Club. Just saying. <laughs> what I'm looking for is the plum. I would love to get my hands on some plum. Some really pretty plum. She ran out of that one really fast. Now these are a couple years old, so I, you know, 
But I got these a couple years ago, so I don't know now. I honestly don't know now. All right, this one came from Craft Outlet. Here we go. Rose ribbon, really pretty. Super pretty. Here we go. You could cut them all your same length if you want. Remember that silk does move around a little bit on you. I'm going to cut this a little tap bit longer. Here. Here we go. Okay. So oh, this is a nice, pretty vintage blend. Oh, that's going to blend in very beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited. Okay, so if you wanted to, if I had plum, I would definitely put a hint of plum in this. Definitely. But I don't have plum, so I'm using what I have, everyone. Try to use what you have. Use what you have without going in debt, right? Okay, here we go. Um, I think I'm going to do long with this. Sometimes I do shorter. I think we're going to do long because we're going to kind of curl the ends because it's vintage. And we only have four ribbons, so let's go, I say small, but I always do huge. <sighs> let's do four and a half. I'm really trying to do small, so I really doubt it. <laughs> I never end up getting small bows. That's just me. Here we go. Four and a half, four and a half, twist up. Silk, try to get it right there in between the two dual rods, okay? So it doesn't move on you. There we go. And I always try to take this off a little bit. Just take it off. There we go. All right, let's go. One, two, very beautiful, ivory, very vintage, very pretty color. I wish that was a dove that's on there, but that's a cockatiel. I'm telling you it's a cockatiel. I'll have to show that bird close up because it has little thingies on its head. It's a white cockatiel, I believe. You guys can tell me the difference when I show that up close, the little birdie. I think it's a cockatiel because I have doves and I, I was trying... But the doves weren't very nice, and I love putting doves on reefs because doves represent the Holy Spirit, and that's my favorite bird in the world. Doves are my favorite. They represent the Holy Spirit. You know, you know what? I had a dove that left the ark to go see if the land. It just talks about the white dove in the Bible all the time. It's illegal to kill doves, too. It is. So they represent the Holy Spirit to me. So when you see like churches write up their little thing for services and stuff, a lot of times they use the color purple. Purple means passion, the passion of Christ. And then a lot of times we'll see like a dove on there, which represents the Holy Spirit. So I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful <laughs> to me. Not that I'm taking anything and saying, oh, this is what it is. No, that's what it means to me you know because i believe in the holy spirit but i think like the dove represents it and i think it's beautiful okay so we got four all right so with this particular ribbon you're going to see that it doesn't flatten out and you really don't want to do that because you're going to ruin it so let's take this pull it in between your two dual rods all right so it doesn't move on you always cut it a little bit longer in that end now the one thing I will tell you was silk you can actually damage it by pressing it flat all right because then it's hard to get the wrinkles out so we're going to take this and you're going to go up and it's okay this is really pretty beautiful ribbon see how pretty that is absolutely breathtaking it's very pretty and it's very delicate so you don't want to flatten this completely out because you can actually ruin this type of ribbon by doing that. So we don't want to do that. We really don't. We want to kind of gentle, gentle, right? I mean, we use this ribbon for weddings. It's very delicate. All right. And we'll shape it more when we get it on our wreath, but it's very pretty. 
All right, we're gonna take our green. When Miss the Holy Spirit landed on Jesus after he was baptized, I remember that in a form of a dove. Yep. Yep, I remember that in the Bible. You are absolutely right. And the dove left Noah's boat and then came back when the land was dry. And the dove is, isn't the dove mentioned in the Bible like a, over a hundred times or something? Because um, you can look up several scriptures that talk about the dove, but you are absolutely right. That is true. The dove is, it's just, it's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. It means the Holy Spirit. It represents the Holy Spirit. It's not the Holy Spirit. It just represents the Holy Spirit. So, like for churches, when we do, you know, when you make up your little things for service and stuff, like I said, a lot of times you'll see a dove on it. You know, the plan for the day and who's going to be speaking or what we're going to sing. The dove is usually on it. For weddings, you see a dove on the little invitations. Um, but it represents the Holy Spirit. It's beautiful but it, yeah you are absolutely right it is in the bible yep it's when john baptized jesus i love the bible and we learn something new every time we read the bible isn't that amazing like someone says oh you can read it once i was like yeah so read it once and then read it again and again and again because every time you read it it's just like a beautiful novel you're gonna learn non-stop you learn something new every time you read it how come you think pastors can read the bible one week and they can go over the same exact thing they just went over but it has totally different meaning because god talks to them each time about a different message but it may be the same verse they're going over but god opens up our mind in a different way to perceive it so it's just, it's amazing on how much you could read. And it's like a novel. I'll be like, wait a minute. Let me read that again. I need to read that again. That's fascinating. He did what? <laughs> it's like, to me, I, I learned from it and I grow spiritually enriched. And God talks to me through the Bible. Because remember, to know God and to be part of God and to be close to God is to know the Word of God. Because one day we're not going to have the Word of God. But if we know God, God is inside of us because the Word of God is God. Does that make sense? <laughs> but every time you read the Word, it changes. It's like God says, okay, I want you to go to this verse, but it means something totally different the next time you read it. And you're like, wait a minute, but I thought it meant this. And then God's like, Yes, but it means this too. I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You just talked to me. I, I thought it meant this, but it means this? <laughs> it's fascinating. And the book of Psalms is just breathtaking. It's beautiful to me. And the book of John. Oh, I love reading John, but I am emotional. Oh, every time I read about Christ dying and his walk, it's like I relive it each time and I learn something new each time and it's breathtaking and beautiful, all the same. And it's a new, it's like I walk with him each time and each time I learn something more. And that's why it's important that we have Christmas programs and we go over that and Easter each time a pastor or somebody teaches that God gives them new word on what happened. He does. If you ask a pastor of a church or ask a minister, ask them, does that verse mean? Yes, it depends on where I am in my life, what God wants me to say, what he's, what he wants them to hear the word. It can mean several different things and God will open it. He will tell you, and you'll be like, wow, wow, it's amazing. It's amazing. Just the word of God, you read it, and each time, God could show you something that you're going through in your life that's in that chapter, in that verse. And you're like, oh, thank you, God. I needed that today. I really needed that. Because he does. He shows us something new. 
All right, here we go. So that's three. Let's twist this down and pull it into in between your two dual rods. Here we go. Oh, this is breathtaking. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, see how pretty. All right, this is only gonna be a four bow today because we don't wanna ruin the wreath by putting too much on it, okay? So bottom up. Nice and beautiful. Look how pretty this is. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green. It's really pretty. Here we go. Don't pull on it too much. Anytime you're working with silk, you can really pull it apart. So you kind of want to have gentle hands with this. Hands should be gentle anytime with silk, okay? Because silk is really easy to bend, to crease, and also it's really easy to pull out of there. It's silk, it moves. So you gently fold, gently, and you're using in between the dual rods, you're using that to hold it, right? So I always use two fingers when I work with this because it's really important you're holding one down to hold it, and then you're holding one to twist it, okay? to form it. So you're forming your, your each petal. And each petal is unique. All right, let's unravel this just a little, see how it can pull out. Very, very fragile. So also, I like to use wired base. So anytime I use silk, I always have the wires on the sides because that kind of holds it, the shape. We're only going to do two here. And that's about three-fourths of an inch. We're going one, hold it with your finger, twist with the other, twist up. All right, it's right there. If you need to press, press. Just be very careful because this, like I said, can ruin very easy. Here we go. In. Down. Now I'm looking at it by sight. If you need to measure it, most certainly you can. Here we go. One. Twist. Try to keep this one on top. Two down. Twist up. Over. how and it's the silk is not thin so it's not like some silks you can get that are really really thin this is not thin by the way this is pretty sturdy ribbon it's more like a satin silk mixture it feels like it has satin in it too like a satin silk does that make sense a satin silk because it's a little thicker than silk but not as thin it's got a satin silky texture to it. Here we go up, up, down. Beautiful. All right. So you're going to shape this all the way once you get it off. Just leave it like that. Say, oh, no, it looks wrong. No, it doesn't. It's fine. Don't stress out about the small stuff because then you're going to ruin the most important part. And that's the bow. The heart. The heart is the bow. It's your loops. Don't mess with the legs. Leave those alone right now. Here we go. We're gonna go one. I'm actually gonna do this one. Same size. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Pink on each side. Down, same size. Oh, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Twist down. Cut. So beautiful. All right, so we're going to take a zip tie. So anytime you do the zip ties in this to hold your bow, everyone, make sure that you have 11 inches, especially with the extra tails, okay? So 11 inch. Let me shut off this glue because I'm done with it. I'm a waste of electric, Carmen. Or I'll forget. I forget everything. Not everything. 
but I am absent-minded <laughs> sometimes. Here we go. All right, here we go. Take this. Kind of lift this up. Lift it up. Up, 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 up. Over. Around. You have to hear the zip, okay? If it doesn't zip, then you have your zip tie is twisted. Hear it? Zip, zip, zip. Yay. Pull up. There we go. Move this over. Okay. Oh, Ginger's knocked out. She's asleep in, in the chair. I feel so bad for her. So she was my service dog, and as all you know, now I'm like a service person to her because she's completely blind. But she's so gentle. She's 18. Anything over 11 years and a pet, we are blessed with. And that's what, even the doctors are like, she's 18. Wow. But she's, you know, she's been a pure blessing. Absolute blessing. 18 year old service dog who helped me through diabetes and so much. God really truly blessed me with that little baby. There we go. I love animals, so I am a Dotson lover. I love them. There we go. Love and respect all of God's life, you know? God puts things in our life to learn from. Just like we have to water and feed an, a dog, for instance. And they count on us for everything. For their shots, for their food, for their water, for us to take them out. It's almost like we are their master. And that is how we are to be to God. God is our everything. We are to help ourselves. But God provides all to us. Maybe not always what we want is what we need. He provides all our needs, not our wants, our needs. So just like it is for an animal, they count on us, we count on the Father. I think he, you know, he puts things in our lives to learn, to learn from. I think that is a good thing. We learn, you know, patience with animals because we have to train them. We learn, you know, they're there and they love you. They count on you. If you don't feed them, they starve. You know, so much. And it's like God teaches us through different things. Hey, isn't that how we're supposed to be? You know, God provides our food, our water, our clothes. He opens up the doors for the things we need. Just like... An animal is to a person. A doggy is to a human. We have to feed them. We have to water them. Give them water. We have to get their shots. We have to take them to the doctors. They count on us as if we count on God. It says like he teaches us through the, his creations. To me, God teaches me through his creations. And that is one of his great creations. Is that the sky that he paints and the waters that are blue and the coral that is beautiful and the seashells, each one is different just as the snowflakes, every snowflake is different. God creates animals too, just like people. We're supposed to learn from everything. Well, I can learn from everything. Okay, let's put this on. This is breathtaking. I'm so happy. All right, we're gonna put this to the side. And we don't want it up too much because you don't want it, you want it kind of to the side of the sign, not way up above the sign, okay? Because if you put it too far above, it's not going to, it's going to take away from it. So we're going to put it right at the same height, right here. Let me move this. Move your ruffle. Remember, you only use two bars, so you can always tie this on. And don't worry about anything, because I think I'm going to tie it on. Let's see. Bar. 
Feel the bars, Kylie. Feel the bars, feel bar two. And pull it through. Feel all my bars. Look at this. You guys can tell me what kind of bird that is. I think it's a cockatiel, but you can tell me because I have no idea. I'm going to give you a close up of it, but I, I really think like it's a white cockatiel. I'm not sure on it. This is breathtaking. God's beauty. Another one of his beautiful pieces. Beautiful art. Here we go. And take it around bar two to finish it off. Trim this up. Okay, so you can take your heated tool to just slightly go over your ends. All right. All right, so let me get this over here so you can tell me what kind of birdie this is. Let's see if I can... Do you see him? Look at him to the side. See how he's a little raised? Is raised up there like a cocktail? I have no idea. It's not a dove, but he's white and he has these little high things there. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm thinking it's like a white cockatiel. I'm not sure because I'm not, I love doves. Like I said, doves are my favorite, but I'm no like bird watcher or anything like that. So I'm not no specialist on birds either. Oops, here we go. Let's show you the sides. Look at how beautiful that is. See the bow? And here we go. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Oops. Okay. There we go. <laughs> no, get it lopsided. There you go. Beautiful. Very Victorian. Very, 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 very beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You missed everything last week. I tried to be on early for you, too. I was on at, like, at 6.30, Miss Ann. Um, I came on at a little, like, 7.20 tonight. But I was on, like, at 6.30 all last week. Uh, tomorrow night on YouTube at 7.30. So we're going to be doing a vintage fall, everyone, tomorrow night. Okay, so vintage fall. We're going to be doing the same technique as we did on Wednesday. So I hope everyone is excited about this. This did not take very long to make. You did? Well, God bless you. All right. This was one hour, everyone. So we did a bow. We did the ruffles. We did the decor. And look at how it took. This is... Gorgeous. So Monday, uh, Cindy will do a heart. We'll do a heart and we'll do uh, similar to this petal, but you're going to do the do them smaller. So we'll do that together so you know exactly how to do a heart with the double um, flower petal. All right. So we'll do on uh, Monday, we'll do a heart. We'll do a vintage heart. I think that'll be fun. A heart instead of a round would be really fun for everyone. You like it, Miss Beth? Well, thank you. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I'm just trying to talk to keep your mind occupied. <laughs> um, let me uh, play around with it. So what I'll do is I will cut everything and let you know. So what I'll do, Cindy, is I'll cut everything and we'll go over all the lengths on Monday because you're going to have to cut the corner, the one ruffle for the tip of your heart at the very bottom has to be the smallest flower ruffle than all of them because that's a point, okay? It's still going to be kind of round, but that's more of a point there. So we'll do that together on Monday. 